Hey guys, welcome back to another Creative Tap tutorial. Um, before I dive on in, just a little apology. It's been a couple of months since I've uploaded. Um, had a very, very busy summer with um, some freelance jobs, etc. So um, I'm back now, and let's dive on in. Now, I haven't really done any Illustrator tutorials before, but as I'm teaching a lot of Illustrator this year in work, I'm going to be uploading um, a lot of Illustrator stuff. So, um, all we're going to do in this one is a very, very basic intro into Illustrator. Uh, we're just working with basic shapes to create this iPhone. I've got a background, the buttons on the right and the left, the base of the phone, the home button, the screen with a little inner shadow, and the microphone at the top. Now, um, I'm going to dive on in to a new document. So if you want to go to File and New, it doesn't really matter what dimensions you use, or I guess it does, it depends what you're using it for. Um, I'm just going to go for A4 in this case, okay? So what I want to do first is, I'm just closing this old document, sorry. Uh, what I want to do first with this layer one is I want to create just a simple sky blue background. So if I select sky blue, like so, um, if I draw it at the moment, it's going to have a stroked outline, black outline around it. So if I click stroke and then none, now it's not going to. So I'll click and draw just to create this little background with this rectangle tool. And I'm going to lock this layer, double click to rename it BG. So now it's background. Okay, I'm going to be doing everything on different layers, um, just because if you wanted to animate this with, let's have a look at this version, with um, maybe the foam base coming in on its own, and then you know the buttons kind of coming in from the left and the right, and all of the little bits coming in, uh, you want them on different layers. Now, it may be that you don't want to do that, but it is always good to separate things out. So first of all, let's create a new layer, and we're going to call it phone base. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to the rectangle tool, hold down my click and drag my mouse out and let go of my click on the rounded rectangle tool. Okay, that's simple. So I'm going to get a new color. I think something like space gray, I think they call it. So let's go for something like that. Click OK. And I'm going to click and drag. Okay, just something like that. I think that's the basic shape of a phone. Now, if I were to grab... Um, these little dots by here, you can see that I can actually affect how rounded this rectangle is. So I haven't actually got an iPhone, but um, I think it's probably going to be around about by there. Um, so I'm, I'm going to go with that, okay? And that's my phone base done. Um, you can have it whatever colour you want, but I'm going to lock this layer now. Um, and obviously if you don't know layers, um, that's the lock and that's the visibility. Okay, so next I'm going to create the screen. So, new layer, double click to rename screen, and now I'm this time I'm going to get the rectangle tool, okay, and I'm going to get a white. Just go white like that, and now I'm simply going to click and drag, and I think that's probably going to be where I want it because I want room for the home button. Um, just something like that, so we've got room for the mic and stuff at the top. Now, on its own, that looks a little bit dry and not, not great, so what we're going to do is we're going to select this shape. Um, so get our selection tool, select the shape, come to Window, sorry, Effect, um, Stylize and Inner Glow. Now, you'll naturally have, I'll set to default what it normally is, it's normally on screen with white, okay? What you want to do for the mode, you want to turn this to Multiply, Turn this then to black, click OK, and if I turn preview on, you can kind of see what's happening. Now my opacity, I want to bring this down to about 50, and the blur, I think I want to take this up to about 5. No, not 5, let's undo that. Um, I accidentally clicked enter, so stylize, inner glow, let's preview this. Um, 5 is too much, so I think 2, and I'll turn the opacity down to about 40. I think that'll be looking better. And obviously we want to keep it to the edge. So then we've got a little shadow on the inside. So I'm just going to click OK. And now we've got a little bit of a shadow going on. Um, again, I think I'm going to undo that. I think that's a little bit too much. Um, so you can kind of modify it until you think you've got a good look. Um, I'm going to turn this to 20%. And let's give a little preview. Yeah, it's got a nice subtler shadow now. Um, 
click OK. Uh, that's looking better for me. OK, so I'm going to lock this layer. And again, I'm going to go to the next layer. Let's create the home button. So I'm going to get an ellipse, which is just a circle. Um, I'm going to get a darker shade of grey. And when I draw this, you can see it's it's not it's, it's hard to get it perfectly circular unless you hold shift. And now when you drag it, it's going to remain perfectly uniform. OK, so just something about that big. And I'm going to click and drag down to here and move that around with my arrow keys. There we go. Basic home button. Um, <clears throat> let's rename this. So home button and I think they've got a little bit of a I think iPhones have got a sort of square in the middle of that I don't actually know so let's let's go ahead and create that um, so rounded rectangle tool I'm on the same layer this time um, let's click out something like that I'm holding shift to make it completely uniform okay so something like that now this time I'm going to turn the fill to none and I'm going to give it a stroke so if I double click the stroke I'm going to give it a white line stroke. And if you come up to the top, you can turn on the thickness of this. So I'm going to turn mine to about two. And now I can drag this, this down and put it in here. I'm going to zoom in by using Alt on my scroll wheel. And I'm going to scale this down. Just move it into the middle like so. Um, I think I'm actually going to turn this down to one. There we go. Okay, something like that. I don't actually know if iPhones do still have that in the middle, but you know, just in case they do, I'm going to leave it there. Um, next, we're going to do the buttons on the side. Now, um, this is where layers, if you haven't used layers before, this is where they really come in handy. So I'm going to get my rounded rectangle tool. I'm going to get a slightly darker, or should I go slightly lighter? Slightly lighter grey. And I'm going to click OK. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw out the power button first of all, just like so. Okay. Now at the moment, that doesn't look very good at all for two reasons actually. We've still got a stroke on there, so I'll select it, make sure selected, come to stroke, hit none. Okay, now if we zoom in, obviously we've still got an issue. It's on top of the iPhone. And what people would probably try and do is draw out a shape which goes down and then out. But that's not really necessary. What you can do is let's rename this first of all to power button. If you haven't used layers before, um, this is where they really come in handy. If I move this down below the foam base, you can see it's still there. You can see the outline, but it's literally just hiding behind, so it just pokes out now. So I'm going to lock this and do the same for the other side. So new layer, let's go volume buttons, and we will click and drag and I'm going to get this shape command C command V to get another one and I'm actually going to have, have it poking out a little bit more maybe like so okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move both of these down just offset them a little bit um, so these are now our home volume buttons now again if these are on top, they're going to stick out. So you just want to make sure they're below the foam base. Okay. Um, next is going to be the microphone. So let's put this on top. Let's make sure we lock our volume buttons. Um, and I think it has a sort of microphone and a sort of tiny circle for the front-facing camera. Now, let's zoom in. Just get a little darker now. Um, let's create the ellipse for the front facing camera. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to offset this and move it to the side a little bit. Great. Now the next one is rounded rectangle tool to get that thin line. And I'm just going to draw quite big first of all. And round this off a little bit more. Now you can see, if I now go to scale it down, it only scales down the, the height until a certain point, okay? And the reason being that it only does the height to this point is because we've rounded it off so much that it can't physically push these two points in anymore. So all you need to do if that happens is just pull this, pull this out for the roundness. Now you can continue to make it thinner. And obviously we want to make it longer as well. 
and that's how, that's how you do that but I think it's still too thick so I'll zoom in pull these points out again so I can scale down height a little bit more there we go and now I'm just going to pull it outwards move it into position and we have our microphone and I may just center that a little bit more let's bring it down cool now if we look between these um, they're very much the same um, I think what I would do in this case is bring because it doesn't look totally iPhone-y I would bring this down a touch this is my screen and now I'll bring the so unlock these layers and I'll bring these down a little bit and I'll just move things around and obviously you can modify the colors as well because everything's on separate layers so that's very easy um, but yeah at a basic level I'm just gonna get rid of this as well I don't like this little square thing um, at a basic level that's how you use very very basic shapes um, to create your uh, an, an iPhone um, so obviously I think I prefer the colors on this one so I'd probably come into here and darken this a little bit more um, maybe bring a screen out a little bit more towards the edges like that maybe even make the buttons the same color um, but obviously now you've got all these separate layers you can kind of alter them one by one play with the colors play with the size and you know that's you at yeah so that's um, a basic intro into using layers and basic shapes in Illustrator to create an iPhone. So I hope this did help. Um, I'll be uploading more of these soon. Um, so yes, yeah, stay tuned and I'll catch you in another tutorial. Cheers.